it's blind energy reading quickies. Thank you for joining. Allow me in your experience, participating in this co-creating energy of oneness by listening live archives, requesting energy reading and healing. This is Juno Universe. Hope you are having a wonderful moments in your world. Actually, I've been so creative energy all around within me, and、uh, inspirational informations and people started to show up. After I was making the space, which is one of the、um, energy work that I've been part of as a group self work, and、um, today is into the new element of that conscious creation we are doing together. So if you're open to, please. Feel free to join in that.、Um, selecting the one wish and embody it with you, all of your senses. See it, smell it, taste it, touch it, and hear it, and experience all the wholehearted wishes as if it's already happened, and embrace it. Especially when we do for、uh, conscious breathing exercise, which is very effective. So let us、uh, use this time together effectively for your better in. Why? Because you are the most important person in your life, and that's what I do care about. And thank you for joining, because we need each other to be part of this unity. I never heard that person who can create unity by themselves. So, together we are stronger and more powerful. We can accomplish something larger than the one that we can do it by ourselves. At the same time, such an important things to getting to know about your changing needs. If we are living on this planet Earth as a human being, it's natural to change, and change is happening all of the time, regardless of your intention, whether you like it or not. Everything on this planet Earth is changing, growing, or stop changing means die. So as long as you're breathing, we're breathing means growing, means changing at this present moment by moment by moment. So today's focus I like to give is. Happy, harmonious co-creation begins with each part of you. Happy, harmonious co-creation begins with each part of you. Stay tuned after this conscious breathing exercise and weekly check-in to get in to know where you are, where I am. Where we are at this present moment, in case of linear time, where I am here now is that the December two thousand eighteen twenty eighteen remaining another twenty plus days to wrap up this year. Whoa. You know, I'm located in the northern hampshire of this、uh, earth, and started to notice the shift of the energy over this、uh, past weekend. And right after that 
new moon resetting as new cycle. And when I stepped out from the door and breathing in the, all the oxygen, it's like, you know, you know, the taste of the air and all the sudden changes. It's not only the temperature difference. It's not only the uh, sun is covered with a cloud or shining or time of the day. It's just about the taste and flavor of the air energy out there. Are you familiar with that? So that flavor shifted two days ago around me and no more autumn. It's like, oh, this is winter, winter taste. You know what I'm saying? I like the, all this shifting, but all of a sudden like, hmm, different, tastes different, feels different. And all of a sudden, okay, I'm also this changing, changed part of it. So it's good to update. Sometimes we're just so engaging with what was great. Enjoy, you know, the after the party things, like after the party, hangover energy remaining in the, the space that we are gathering together. And the next day, still energy remaining. Everybody's gone. But the energy is, you know, still there. And we do that sometimes. It's carrying the great memories, emotion, you know, sad memories, grief, whatever was with us and still with us. We are changing. So let us choose consciously which one we want to take with us for um, better in, you know, uplifting lifting energy or memories that bring your cheek up a little higher you know or like some um experience from the past that will make your your posture a little feels taller you know one of these open chests and open your mind and you know that spirit and winning to this changing for better in preparation, which is totally up to the chooser. In case of you and your life, you are the chooser. And me is, I am the chooser. So we together utilizing this co-creating energy of oneness to do some better things for ourselves for you and thank you for connecting because i need you all of you to adjust in myself and then also if you can use this time together for your bedtime i'm so grateful for being useful for your moment of connection to you and your life and after this uh, breathing exercise and the focus of today, last portion of the show, I'd like to provide the intuitive reading. Today's category is Life Path. You can also request your intuitive reading anonymously without any of your story, name, anything, but just select the category of the topic you like to get the insight from me and assign the symbol of the particular mata that you like to get the energy read and send it out. So that will help me to choose the category and the symbol and I deliver that insight energy reading, connecting to the particular topic and deliver without knowing any of your personal situation. So it's like a pure energy read. If it's resonating, please take it and make it useful. If you feel it's known resonance, and please do not take it because you are the most knowledgeable person about your life, I suppose. And even if it doesn't resonate, that will give you an, an idea that what you would like to embody, right? 
so either way it will be fine it's totally up to you however it will give more choices and another view to take a look at what's available and that will make you more powerful to choose what most resonated to your heart of the matter for the next step and only thing i ask is that you need to have that over 21 years or more earth experience on this lifetime so it means like you're responsible for your own choice and if you are underage please Please explore believing yourself and uh, learn about your choices from uh, success and unsuccess. Either way, it will be fine. And then develop sense of self and then come back later when you have enough experience as an um, over 21 years of uh, moments on earth as you as in your body this lifetime probably we're here because i've been doing this for over um nearly like 15 years wow and thanks for technology that it becomes a lot easier for me to share this uh, energy through my presence and that voice so uh let's start that weekly check-in giving our attention to ourselves each part of you mind body emotion spirit basically resides in the heart area and just to align alignment updating alignment being current here now in this linear time on this physical body mind feeding so just uh, giving your attention to your head, what you're thinking, and just the notice is that related to your experienced memory or something that you are going to experience from now on? Would that be uh, this afternoon or tomorrow or um, this weekend or this holiday or next year? You know, just to notice what your mind is engaging is the linear time. So who's around there? Who's around you? What you are doing? You know, is that um, happy, exciting, or you're worrying about something? Just notice. No need to engage, but just to observe. Notice. And hear the feeding. So what kind of feeding you have now with you? I am feeding very calm. How about you? Just write that feeding word come all of a sudden hard to spend come okay uh, come um if you like to use this exercise more effective and i highly recommend you to write that feeding word down with a pen and piece of paper that's a lot of benefit the number one is to use the uh, both side of the brain, left and right. Right side is the function of feeding. And then the left part of your brain is the organizing without word. So using feeding, noticing, and then choosing that matching word use the both side, which is very balancing, you know. So and then uh, write that down. That's the first benefit. And then the second benefit, write that word down with that hand. It, using the hand is something magical, something to do with the hand and the brain and this commando, I suppose. So uh, many generations, younger generation prefer to type in with the digital device, but somehow that analog writing is different and that's it's very connected to humanness you know and effective 
So that's from the uh, exper my own experience for over the、uh, last、uh, 15 years, nearly、uh, 20 years. And many of my teachers who teach、uh, coaching and therapies and everything,、um, these professionals recommend to use the handwriting. Hand writing. So. That's the second benefit, and then the third benefit is that when you take something invisible energy like feeling, we are so intimate, and it's very difficult to take a look with the space between your feeling and your observer self. So write that down. Bring that. Information about your emotion using this time is the word and take it out from your beingness and onto a piece of paper and allow your eyes to see it, capture it, and noticing. You know that's a different function as feeling. You know it's like a noticing. So this observable information about your non-physical energy that will get, become a tool to get into know about you, just like a mirror reflecting your physical presence. Without the mirror, it's quite difficult to know how do I look, right? Um, using other device to capture selfie, and that's another way. Either way, we need a tool to take a look, to observe our physical presence, to see ourselves. The same as non-physical, especially、uh, feeling and mind. Write that down, and give space and observe. That will give us. A、uh, more obser- objective relation stands to take a look, relate, connect to our beingness, and this is one of the information that only you can give to yourself. I wish I could give you, but we need to. That's the power we have. You have so、um, use this power. And then I would like you to get to know about yourself. So, please, if you can grab some pen and paper, write that down. And this exercise,、um, another thing is what I notice is that when we notice the feeling, and then write that word with quite different. It's like you know the、uh, feeling to make it right. Or make ourselves look good is quite different from a raw information, raw R A W raw information, raw data, the core essence, and the authentic voice, true voice can be somewhat、um, formalized. When you choose the word and write that down, especially write that down for some people. So observe that how you are doing, how openly, authentically,、uh, distill then your true voice onto the paper. It,、uh, it took so many years to purify, distill in the essence. Of my true voice, it's so much. Oh, you know, like a sales commercial, whatever that I believed BS was filtered in to speak out the、um, authentic voice. So this building this authenticity is something that you can refine the quality to get into know about yourself. Unless otherwise, you are pretending someone and you are manipulating, fooling yourself. And we do that sometimes. We do that. So accept that if that's that's in case of you find it on yourself. And accept as it is, and that's part of human beingness. And it's the、uh, observing, become aware of that part of you is the most important, beautiful part to begin with. So congratulate the awareness and notice as it is.
So my feeling is calm, super calm, by the way. Okay. So the second word is that what kind of feeling you would like to have at the end of today's show? We have another、um, 25 minutes. So at the end of today's show, I would like to feel, I would like to feel flowing. Flowing, flowing. How about you? Inspired, that's good. Excited, that's good. Open, joy, happy, pros- abundant, prosperity, grateful. For, these are all good. And、uh, if you are challenging, situ- in a challenging situation and dealing with some、uh, grief or sadness or what, 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 and then I highly recommend to choose just hope. Sometimes this hope gives the、uh, natural gear shift back into the neutral zero point. So, no need to put your gear onto top when you are in a low gear, it's very artificial. So, knowing that you are. Current energy level with the emotion and choose hope, choose hope, and angry about, sad about, and sometimes it's just a finding the place to allow tears to cleanse your system and use it. Your job will be to find that safe place for you to do so. You know, sometimes it's hard to find a safe place, but here I am providing the safe space as energy of oneness. So you can do that. Maybe you want to listen, walk around the park, or maybe the driving, whatever. Like, find a safe space to listen to this podcast and give yourself permission to let that out with tears. Maybe you want to scream and angry about, sad about, just let that out. Allow yourself to do that. And first, prepare for yourself to save space for you to do that. And remember, choose the word hope right now. So then you can come back to very authentic space to neutralize to the authentic zero point neutralization. So, did you choose the second word? And if you get a pen and paper, and write the day of your day next to that, so that will give you a piece of information about you that only you can give as a tool. Okay, great. So, now let us use this breath. We do consciously and consciously all the time as living creature on this planet or Earth. So, at this time, consciously inhaling all the air around us from the nose and bring that fresh air into a physical body and keep it in your stomach as long as you can. You can keep, make it as big as a balloon inside of your. Belly, and then let that out slowly, along with no longer serving whatever memories, people, whatever that it's served that purpose. Get the lessons and release everything with the air. So, we do this three times with eyes open, wide awake. Sometimes, this quickest meditation, um. We do it with eyes closed, but this one we do it with open eyes. So then notice what your eyes are noticing, multitasking, and then totally engaging 
with the air coming in from the nose and how your body is responding or non responding, which part of it is getting your attention or not getting attention. You know what I'm saying? So, just the here now using the air with the awareness and do this three times. Ready? Let us take a long, deep breath, counting three, one, from the nose, go, two, three, hold it, hold it, Second time, let us take a little bit more air into the stomach this time. All right, let us take a long deep breath, count in three, go, two, three, hold it. Keep it. Letting out all the memories and no longer serving whatever. The last one with the silence. Ready? Go. <sighs> Thank you for joining Conscious. Breathing exercise, being current here now. This is June Universe. Ooh, you know what? My body is becoming warming up, like almost sweat. It's really good. I feel so good. How about you? Hope you are also feeling this. Difference before after. This time I learned myself that、uh, my breath has been so shallow. How do I know? Is that when I did this deep breath with you and my body was. Excited, <laughs> like inside of my stomach, and then you know, like a lungs and stomach. It's like a little bit of stretching with a deep breath, the lots of air coming in and keeping it like at the the oxygen is pushing out from inside. And that feeling was missing, means like a very shallow, small amount of air and breathing, breathing, breathing. So, not much opportunity to the air pushing and expanding, stretching in, inside of the body organs was、uh, very rare. So, I feel so good, like stretching it inside organs. So, I hope that you can use this to align here now with your mind and body and some, perhaps the inner.、Uh, the... Part of you to stretch a little bit with this simple open your eye breathing exercise. Anytime when you want to feel a light. So, today's focus I'd like to give is that a happy, harmonious co creation begins with each part of you. 
what this does this mean? I hope I can channel this information well. And let me set the timer for it. Okay. So that co-creating everything is co-creation in this oneness, the one with uh earth. One with other creature, one with other people, one with community, you know, and all around us, one with the world, and that harmonious co-creation, being part of the nature, it's begin with in us. We are part of the universe, and. Universe is such an a wonderful, harmonious flow, all around, and we supposed to be part of that. And universe is within us. So what we think physical, non physical part of ourselves, energy, everything is made of energy. So that. Co-creation in a harmonious one. What we think, what we feel, what we act in physical. We want to make it as harmonious one. The challenge is we change all of the time. What we want might be changing. What we think is changing. So this. Present moment, the act and think and feel as one. Your passion to create and moving towards that with the flow, all are happening from within. Within you, each part, including. Past, present, and future all happening now. The memories. We have a choice of memory bank. Some are let go, some remain here. What you would like to take with you for this co-creation? Make an harmonious, enjoyable, joyful, peaceful. Core aligned to your physical appearance, presence, feeding, matching to create, extend, expand to share with our world, with what you create, what you offer, what you receive, what you being part of. When you talk, when you connect, when you hang out, when you be this, being part of the perfect flow of the universe, when you in taking into a physical, non-physical information and digest and be this and circulate and share and extend, expand. So, happy feeling emotion is one of the guidance that are you on the right path. That's the compass of the emotion brings the information. When you are notice you're happy is jeopardy challenged, and then what kind of emotion is with you bringing the information? Joy, happy, love, fear, grief, five basic emotions. Get the informations and know what would make you back into the true north. Happy alignment. No one can make you happy. This is the inside work. You are the creator of your happy. You have a power to give yourself a permission to happy. No one else will make you happy. 
So harmonious co-creation of each part of it, your body. If it's your body is demanding, what will make you happy? In a healthy alignment. What you are thinking, negative thought, sadness. How you can co-create that alignment to negotiate. No one can negotiate your negative thought. Give yourself a permission to guide online to the happy feeling. If your mind is challenging from the belief system from your childhood trauma, memories, it's all yours. You are the owner, but at the same time, you have the permission giver. So give yourself a suggestion. To choose the happy co-creation, find something make you feel happy today. Big things, small things, it size doesn't matter. The things you can feel immediate, happy, joy. Bring your smile to your face. Co-creation begin with each part of you. Thank you for doing it. This is Juni Universe at Ninja Intuitive Three Minutes Blind Energy Reading Quickie. So today's intuitive reading I would like to give is the Life Path, and when I give the requester a reading, I would like you to embody the feeling you chose for today's show. Do you remember the word of the emotion you chose for yourself? To experience at the end of today's show, mine is flowing. How about yours? So write that down and embody it. Feel it, smell it, taste it, touch it, hear it. When you are experiencing that feeling, who's around you, what you are doing, just embody that feeling. And send a good thought to the energy reading requester as if they're experiencing their perfect way. And when you send out the good thought in the energy of universe and energy return system of the universe, we're coming back to you to help you embody your chosen feeling. That's the beauty of this oneness. All right, so. Today's symbol from Life Path I like to choose is the stars. Stars. Life Path. I got the sense that、uh, this is kind of a type of topic, particular topic that you may recognize in certain amount of. Certain time of the day, getting your attention. However, it's always there, even unconsciously. So, when you pay attention to that, is not special because it seems to be it's part of you.、Um, so it's abundant. Availability when you choose to offer what you are now thinking about this particular topic,、um, I got the sense that、uh, your heart is very neutral and open and generous naturally, and very grounding. And action is connected to a sense of self, neutral, and something holy about that. Your spirit is guiding that path. With the creativity is next, the passionate creativity that gives me a a feel of the something about your true passion. Since you are like ten years old, child. Um, there is an a communication and the very money related abundance when you continuously follow this way of you decide and know that your decision is being guided more than your belief or、um, knowingness. So trust that that you are on the right path and very grounded. 
and a rainbow of that happiness will be coming through when you choose to take action towards this particular topic on this life path matter. I get the sense that red is a good key color for that and uh, no need to worry about consistent effort because I feel like without that attention, you will follow through it unconsciously. So just trust in that and follow your heart. Good luck. I'm sending lots of love and energy to your creation. This is STARS category of life path. Another one. Okay, the next one I like to give is, oops, is the, um, Bicycle. Bicycle? Here's the bicycle. I got the sense something need a adjustment, alignment, and a cosmic energy is uh, guiding you. And physicalization is a little bit of adjusting to what you've been already experienced. And now that you like to invite in something very difficult for other people to understand because your inspiration and imagination and cosmic energy is so unique and brilliant. Um, I'm having a sense that you already have the enough inform information and capability and build the skill to bring that into earthy reality in a shareable format. Um, I got this sense something about the cat, a uh, white cat is uh, ideal to involve or follow that sign when you see that white cat and uh, art form in the sense of a visual art is good to go. Visual art and white cat is the place to go when you are guiding into and concerned about is this the right choice or not. And go use the sign to follow through. I got the sense that um, a new canvas would be a uh, sort of like a feeling intimidated and uh, you have a newness to new experience in on particular this bicycle topic on your life. But know that it's, it's the opportunity given to you. And uh, even if you feel the small pieces of interest and go for it, that small interest will be uh, enough participation to the whole bigger picture and you will love to be part of. Good luck. I feel so excited about this. This is the uh, bicycle category of life path. I want to give another one, the short one. One minute one. Okay. The last one is the clip clip I get the sense that this is uh, sort of like um, concerned about your availability and ability and self-esteem the self-issue and balancing about the egos and your awareness and uh, open-hearted but a little bit of um, killing the feeling and emotion and more of ego and self-esteem is self-esteem is the main focus I'm seeing here. Something to do with the business or work or career development and authentic you is there. However, you are kind of wondering about what would be the way to go. I got the sense that it's a more generous part of you to bring in front it make you make your things to the next quality and the phase that you are deserving to experience. Good luck. This is the eclipse category of life path. 
You can also request your own reading going to www.thefutureforecaster.com. Thefutureforecaster.com. Look forward to intuiting your needs. This is June Universe. I see you next time. Until then, all my love and healing to your heart. Thanks for listening. Bye. Thank you.